What's going on guys? Big Time Montana here. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the ROM called Legion OS for the Poco X3 MDC version. So, with that being said guys, let's get into it. So, first things first, we're going to go to the XDA thread. We're going to look for the Legion OS. I'm going to have a link in the description. And as we can see here, we're going to do the clean flash, which we're going to download the latest build and gaps. And we're gonna go and also wipe the data, the cache, and the DAVIC. Now, we're gonna flash the latest build and gaps because I need gaps. And you have the option to also flash the encryption disabler, decrypted, or just do like me and just form a data and we'll reboot. So let's scroll down a little bit. And here we find the latest download so you can see it's going to take us to this website here and we're going to go ahead and click download we're going to download it in the place that you know where you can locate it we're going to let that do its thing And then we're gonna go ahead and go and get the gaps. Now, word of advice guys, open gaps does not work at all. They don't even have Android 11 listed here. And I tried, no bueno. So I also tried Nick gaps, since I know this one has the Android 11. So you can see we have multiple options here. I would always go with the basic, but trust me guys, I had problems with this. So you'll see in the video, it didn't want to install. Now, I recommend you guys get flame gaps because for whatever reason, these do work with Legion OS. So I'll have the link in the description so you guys can just come here, click download, and download your flame gaps. As you can see, it's stable. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the phone. And we're going to go ahead and reboot into recovery, guys. So, we'll do that real quick. Now, I'm going to shorten some of the sequence. So, you'll notice that it'll be shorter times than it would normally be. But that's just because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, we're getting into Orange Fox recovery. And here we are. We're going to just go to wipe. And we're going to... Click on Dalvik and data, and we're gonna just slide that, and we're gonna do that wipe. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go back again. Now, I'm gonna do format data. You're gonna type in yes, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, format our data too. Okay, now that we're done, we go back. We go back again until we get to the files. We're gonna choose micro SD card because USB is not working. It didn't work for me, so make sure you have enough space on your SD card. So we're gonna look for the files. So make sure you have your files. So you can see we have Legion OS right there. So we're gonna choose that. We're gonna add another one to the queue, and we're gonna choose Nick Caps Basic, as you can see there. And we also want to install the orange fox. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, slide to install. Now, this is the part that I was telling you guys. It looks like everything's going well after Legion OS, but as soon as NickCap starts installing, we get an error, as you can see right there. No biggie. We're just gonna go ahead and go back in. We're gonna go in there, format again, yes. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the files, and we're just simply gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and go into your SD card again, choose the files that we need. For example, we're gonna get Legion OS. We're gonna add another one. Now we're gonna look for Flame Caps. So Flame Caps is here, we're gonna choose that. And we're also gonna get the Orange Fox Recovery because we wanna make sure that we keep our recovery. So once that is done, guys, we're gonna just slide as you see, 
everything seems to be working great everything is installing now as you can see flame gap is coming and you will see Android version 11 basic and no errors guys seamless installation now at the very end you're gonna see that it starts to boot recovery and that's fine that's because we installed orange fox so now once it, it does reboot we're gonna swipe to allow modifications click on the little check there and all we're gonna do is go to format and we're gonna format we're gonna format again we're gonna type yes and we're gonna just reboot our system and that's it now like I said I shortened the sequence here it took about five minutes to 10 minutes to get into this Legion OS logo so just be patient once the ROM loads in you can just you know do your thing I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set it up real quick and uh, we're gonna see how it looks real quick this is not gonna be the review this is just an installation video the review or the hands-on will come in later I gotta you know I gotta get a feeling for this ROM I always take about a week to kind of measure the battery see if everything's working see if there's no you know maybe glitches or whatever but uh, as you can see it's uh it's loading we're gonna go ahead and choose a backup to restore all right we're gonna choose that Okay, more, we're going to press more again, we're going to accept, and let me just put in this info here, and let's go ahead and input my fingerprint here, okay, we're done with that, and let's go ahead and press next. Okay, you know, I didn't install matches at all but from what i could tell it went through and it works so i, I had google pay working as of right now but in case it doesn't work i'll let you guys know in the review okay so as you can see all of my apps are being restored just like i had on before my phone and that's it there we go guys you know look at that nice and clean no extra bloatware nice and snappy and uh yeah guys that's gonna be it i'm gonna go ahead and let this do its thing and restore the whole phone and i'm gonna fiddle with it test everything and i'll get back to you guys so if i helped you in any way guys i would appreciate it if you like the video subscribe and uh guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye